All right, so we're going to do how to read a ruler to the 16th of an inch. Let me move the camera in. And this is for Colleen. Sometimes I, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to start with a line. Yeah, this really, this marker's not going to work. Here's zero. Here's one. It's too, too soft. Okay. Divide your line in half. That's one half. We'll try this with different colors. That's what I, how I should teach the kids. Okay, now you're going to take and divide that in half. There's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Those are not the lines that give anybody problems. Okay, now we're going to take it and we're going to divide each of these. And I'm not doing it like perfectly measured. It's just the idea to get which lines are which. Divide each of those in half, and we're doing eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. And then, of course, this is four over four. 8 over 8. Okay, now we're going to take and divide each of those in half. I'm going to use the smaller pen to write with because it's a smaller space. That's 1 16th. Two sixteenths, three sixteenths, four sixteenths, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths. You've got one, and these are all equivalent fractions. Nine sixteenths, ten sixteenths. 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, 15 sixteenths, and 16 over 16. That's it. I am recording. So let me hold that up a little closer. So you can make that little cheat sheet to keep somewhere in your studio. What I do is I make the kids make this and keep it in their journal. If you don't have a ruler that has a 16th, you could leave the 16th off. But most standard rulers that you grab a lot of times have to the 16th. You can even get rulers that have to the 32nd, to the 32s.